Hey Stitchy Friends, it's Macy with Paint Rose Needle Arts. Um, it's been a long time since I've made a video and I wanted to show you um, some of the new things that I have made since the last video. Um, some of the new patterns I've designed before I pack them up because we are moving to Arkansas. So, I have been meaning to do this, but my life has been insane. So I'm um, going to try to keep this short so that it will upload fast because I am having a sale in my Etsy shop um, at 40% off all hard copies um, so that I have less to take with me. Um, so I'll start with the ones that I released over the summer that I never got to so. so this one right here is Sarah Reed. Let me not show my face. Um, this is a reproduction. I have the original and I didn't grab anything like that to show. Um, thought I had a year. Yeah, 1838. So I loved this because of the moths. And then it's just a fun little alphabet. And, um, I like the colors. This is stitched on, um, a 36 count. I believe it's <clears throat> Latte by XG Designs. And it's charted in DMC. So I have the sampler, but I also took the middle part and made a drum. So I had this made, um, I can't even think. My finishing touch. I believe here on Instagram, um, she made this drum for me, and she did a great job, but I just thought it'd be fun, and then I made these little pins, um, with beads, and so I have that, it's a new release, with Sarah Reed, um, her drum, and her sampler. Oh, and another one I had over the summer was the second um, Quaint Quaker. Um, I think these are really fun, but I know they're probably kind of different. I just <clears throat> I like the look of um, black with like kind of real ism flowers. And then this one I use kind of a bright color. These are stitched with Leo and Roxy uh, floss. Now I wanted to show these because it's so hard um, to see what cross stitch really looks like in photos. It's always so much prettier obviously in real life but it's so hard to get it across and pictures, so I wanted to be able to show them just so you could see what they look like. Um, now these I never did get hard copies of just because I haven't found a cost effective way for me to make hard copies um, like I want to, but on a smaller scale because I don't need as many as I'm having to buy and so I end up with a ton of stuff that I can't sell and it's just sitting around and not good. So this one is only available as a PDF still. Hopefully it will be a hard copy eventually. This is Quaint Quaker Summer. It's stitched on 40 count straw by Weeks Dye Works and it's using Leo and Roxy Floss, which I absolutely love to stitch with. Now here's another um, Leo and Roxy. This one I designed for Evertote um, for a collaboration where Caroline made a bag to go with it. Or I made this to go with her bag, actually. Um, this is Tweet Tweet. I have it as a PDF in my Etsy shop, and you can get it as a hard copy at Evertote. Um, and a kit, and you can get the bag. So it's stitched on, a, mine is stitched on 46 count catnap which is a beautiful gray and it's 
I'm not sure if it's showing up true or not. Maybe get a shadow. I'm trying to show my face a little. But mine is smallish. Um, I don't know the stitch counts of any of this. But um, I can't remember that. <laughs> um, this is obviously stitched with Leo and Roxy Floss. Um, that... Maximum cross stitch power hour. Ellen did the conversion from DNC to Leo and Roxy. So the colors ended up very, very bright, but they could easily be toned down. <laughs> Leo, Ro Leo and Roxy Floss is very vibrant and bright, as you can probably tell. Um, so there's that one. It says a PDF in my Etsy shop and a hard copy from Caroline at Evertotes. And uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Maybe that's all I had over the summer. Um, and then my new fall ones are only PDFs, so the first one is Gone Baddie, and it's, um, what, clearing up? I'm not sure, okay. And it's a little cute Halloween design, I don't really do Halloween, but I just came across the DMC the variegated DMC. I think it's 4522 and I really love the purple and the orange and green together. <laughs> and I found it um, while I was packing things up. And so I designed this real fast and I stitched it up real fast and uh, put it in my Etsy shop. So I have a, a vine with thorns. I don't know if you can see it. Some little thorns on the vine. Little spiders on spider webs. Um, spiders. And a cute bat. It says Gone Batty. And it says Gone Batty because, um, while I was designing the bat, my, um, now three-year-old was just, uh, running around in here, just being crazy, playing and dancing and singing real loud. And I was like, have you gone batty? And I was like, oh wait, I should totally put that on here. So, Gone Batty because... My three-year-old three year is always going batty. <laughs> so there's that. It's a PDF on my um, Etsy shop. And it's stitched on 36 count gray sand by Extra Designs with DMC. And then the next thing I have, um, not shown in the video, is my turkey pin keep. I love this guy. Um, clear up. Okay. I love my turkey. This turkey is off of a huge sampler that I own. Um, the sampler, sampler will eventually be reproduced in its entirety, but I really just wanted to take the turkey off for just a quick fall stitch. He's sitting, standing on a big pumpkin that was stitched with a uh, pumpkin spice. Threadworks. I don't know what is with my camera. I am so sorry. Um, and I just added the pumpkin and the little flowers up top and it says pins and needles. And uh, I added this safety pin with a pumpkin charm and button. Which would be, I mean, the, this kind of thing is easy for anyone to find. I made a little strawberry to hang on. Um, and it's one of those, like, it's not perfect, but, um, I'm not, s I'm not super great at sewing things like this, but I like how it, I'm happy with how it turned out. So I love my turkey pin keep. Um, yeah. It's my Etsy shop, and it's stitched with all DMC, except for this is, uh, Threadworks. Pumpkin Spice. Which you could easily just pick any kind of orange you'd want because that one is kind of bright but I thought it was kind of fun you know this one try not to knock out of the frame because it's not uh, stuck in there right um this is an original design by me called consider the ravens right yeah consider the raven um it's a bible verse I really love stitching this. 
It's stitched in classic color works and um, there is a DMC alternative, but there's really, it's really hard to find anything that matches even sort of like it because of the variegation in classic color works. My frame did get cut short, but it took me so long to actually get this out, I had to just use what was made for me. Um, but yeah, I really like stitching this one and designing it. I can see the little pumpkin border with the yellow flowers. I love stitching with classic color works. The variegation is beautiful, and I love the like kind of muted, muted colors. Let me see, I can take this out so you can see the top of the tree. If it didn't get um, chopped off by my frame, you can see the top of my trees and my little raven and these little bugs that um, I kept trying to wipe off of it because I thought they were bugs. And I was like, oh wait, I stitched bugs on So I stitched these a long time ago and it just took me a really long time to get them framed and all put together. Um, so I really like this one. It's on 40 count bees knees by Seraphim, I believe. Um, I love the color bees knees. It's an awesome color. Um, okay, so I think that is all of my new releases. Um, the sale of my Etsy shop will continue until I leave, which I um, don't know if it's going to be this weekend or next weekend. So if there's anything that you've been looking at in my Etsy shop um, and it's a hard copy, well now is a great time to get it. It's 40% off and I'm not sure how long the sale is going to last. So if you're interested sooner rather than later, it would definitely be better. Um, I think I have 10 different patterns that are um, in hard copy form that you can look at if you like. My Etsy shop is Quaint Rose Needle Arts and um, yeah that is all I'm gonna add in this video. I just wanted it to be a kind of a quick um, showing of my new releases and um, thank you for watching and hopefully I'll get to a, an actual floss tube and I can show you some of the things I've finished that weren't my designs and um, some things I've been working on. So thanks for watching everyone. Bye!